Right, hello everybody. Welcome to the Chalice Round 1. We've got <laughs> Garion versus Yak. <laughs> and Yak has been a complete mad bastard. <laughs> and he has sacked his apothecary and both of his rerolls. And so was my cock. Thanks, Kingslayer. Um <laughs> Yeah, so he has he has got rid of both of his rerolls and his apple. This reroll is from leader. Um so that he would Enjoy get him. flashlights. Go fuck yourself. Thanks. Um, so he could get a wizard, and I think that is completely fucking crazy, because it's an elf off, um, where the wizard is at its worst, you know? Like, it's literally the worst game to have a wizard in, is an elf off. I could definitely understand if it was versus, like, you know, 1700 dwarves or whatever, where you feel a wizard is the only way you can possibly crack the guard cage. As we saw earlier, Shawnee had some trouble with just, like, you know... Even if his team had been full team, he would have had some trouble Hunter, getting into the base, into base, the cage. Base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. <laughs> oh my god, Marcel's in as well. All of the sound effects people are in. Hello. Yeah, exactly, Shawnee. It's pretty easy to count. Like, to it's pretty easy for elves of all teams. Elves can like play around a wizard the most, can't they? Like, it's least good against a, against elves. It's crazy, crazy to me to completely sabotage your team for the rest of the tournament like this but Yak's done it and you know it could win him the game it could win him the game and it could win him Chalice but I wouldn't bet on it but there you go a lot crazier than Draws Without Blitzers a lot crazier than than Draws Without Blitzers hello PC <laughs> yeah not what I'd do but who can say if it's good or bad? No, neither of them have mighty blow, do they? They're both very um, doubles light. Yak does not have a double at all on the team. Um, Gary only has one, and he took guard on a blitzer, which, to be fair, is what I would have done as well. I like mighty blow on the catchers, because they can hit and run and tackle and stuff. Um, whereas the blitzers being AV8, or the, the guys you want basing up more, aren't they? Um, you know, taking the hit, they take a hit better than most. Fuck off! With the old blodge step, as I mean that he hasn't got. But usually they have blodge step, and uh, you know, easy blodge step, don't they? they? They get the blodge step so fast. Usually the first skill, so like, because he got guard first skill, you think, well, next skill he gets blodge step guard, and he's AV8, he's the best guy to have guard on your team. So I like taking guard on them. Um, so there you go. Yeah, I'm a lot. I'm a lot more content when I'm the one fucking watching and not having to fucking play. <laughs> oh, thanks, PC. <laughs> the equity swing. I'm a rant. As if you don't know how to spell it. <laughs> The uh, the holder of the best emote on Twitch, the illegal the illegal Freeman emote, <laughs> the illegal Freeman emote. <laughs> it's totally illegal, by the way, to use somebody's actual face, uh, you know, on your things. So, like, as an emote, it's completely legal to use the photograph of somebody unless you've asked for their express permission. Now, maybe she has got permission from Morgan Freeman, but. I can't imagine that she has asked for it or got it. So, I ass I'm assuming that's an illegal Freeman there. <laughs> Luckily, I, I, have, uh, I have made my own... <laughs> Luckily, I've made my own uh, emotes of other people. God, J5. Stop being mean. <laughs> oh, don't see that. Illegal Freeman. I do love it. Plus, Illegal Freeman's a great name for emote, isn't it? I might, I might draw my own Morgan Freeman emote so I can have Illegal Freeman. <laughs> Who 
Who is the favourite in this match? I think it's De Hallo Vili. I think it's definitely Gerian because he hasn't sabotaged his team to get a wizard. <laughs> I mean, I think it's pretty dicey. Um, Gerian isn't blitzing with tackle. Maybe he's hit people without tackle, without dodge. Um, he's got three rerolls and an apple. Yak has given up two rerolls and an apple to get a wizard. Which I think is fucking nuts. They were absolutely rock hard today. Obviously, so Gerion does two, otherwise, he would have dropped two rerolls and an apple to stop him getting the wizard. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, not that it's always bad. And, you know, maybe I'm overreacting because it. It seems so bad to me, but. It really feels bad to me, giving all that up for a, like for one use thing that might not even work. That's relatively easy to play around. The elves almost do play around naturally anyway. <laughs> for fuss. Oh dear. And ex yeah, exactly, Billy. I I I do not like it. I do not like, it's kind of like, he's kind of sabotaging the rest of his tor tournament. And basically this game as well, just for one turn. Like he's sabotaging his every other turn of the game for one turn, isn't he? You know, he only gets the wizard for one turn. Okay, he gets it in his head for, for a lot of turns, but it only has an impact, an actual quantifiable impact once per game. And for that, he's given up. Two re-rolls and a wizard. <sighs> Not a fan. Fantastic shit at this game. But you know, I'm shit at this game. You know, Yak's in the playoffs. He could win. He could win the whole thing, couldn't he? So you know, who's to say who's right or wrong? <laughs> it might work. And like, I feel like I'm over-egging the pudding, but really it's like, it's just so wild and crazy that it's hard to talk about anything else, isn't it? You've never heard of that Fall Falls. I guess you are about 10 years old, aren't you? But still. <laughs> God help us. Um, and I think I saw Shawnee say something there before. Commiserations, Shawnee. There you go. This isn't a move to win Chalice. This is a move to win one game, and it's questionable if it does that. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ten years old. Full force. Bloody hell. God, it's fucking crazy. So you were born in like 97 or 98, Fault Force. Jesus Christ. I'm still living in 97 or 98. No, I'm probably not. I'm probably living in about 2000. Probably about 2000, right? Perfect Dark. WWF No Mercy. Probably still living in 2000. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Toad in the hole. <laughs> Fast lane, glorious, isn't it? It was pretty, yeah, it was indeed PC. Yeah, who knew? <laughs> who knew who it was PC? Not No one watching ever. It was an amazing reveal, wasn't it? Incred impeccably performed by uh, by Skuro. Impeccably performed. Fastlane, Fastlane, Villy, the uh, the JFW, um, <laughs> JFW, WWE Universe, starring members of the Blood Bowl community. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There isn't yet no Steve Motti, no. No, there isn't. I, I, I'll be honest, I just haven't been bothered doing it yet. <laughs> I mean, we know what we and we know what's on it. We know what's happening. I just haven't, I just haven't recorded it yet. Oh, you could pass it here, but that's mental because it getting accepted. I'm just gonna dodge through. Is he gonna hand off and score? Then that completely invalidates the wizard if he just scores, doesn't it? Oh, throw already. He'd already handed off. Shouldn't he have thrown? Did he not have it on a? Oh no, he had it on an 11 SPP guy. Oh yeah, he definitely had to throw on this guy. He's he's one away now. He could just score and then and then the wizard's useless, isn't it? But then it's not useless because it's made him score on turn three. But I think it's okay going for fast scores, make it a, make it a score off, because then that's putting more pressure on both sides re rolls. Yak's only got one. It neuters, if not outright, destroys his wizard. So yeah, I think I think just going for the uh, going for the fast score and, and like you know go for a shootout is the play here. Um, it's going to be Elk Meme Chimp. <laughs> This looks like he's going to try and stall, though, doesn't it? The fact that he's moving these guys and not just banging it in, unless he's got a geophyte to make. Yeah, he does have a geophyte to make. Oh, no, he's got plus move. So he could just bang it in. So the fact he's moving anybody implies that he's not just going to bang it in. He does bang it in. <laughs> <laughs> he just completely wasted two minutes of all our lives and <laughs> pointlessly moving <laughs> three characters around. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's fair enough, Kadenik. Yeah, you might have just been because you know we don't have the we don't have the. Uh... The benefit of tabletop where you can move your entire team then take back all of your moves then move your entire team somewhere else then take back all your moves then move your entire team somewhere else then take back all your moves then get your car keys out and put them on and to count where people can move and then put all take all your opponent's dice put them in a string where your players could move then take them all back move them there then take it back and move them somewhere else you can't do that can you so maybe you just thought yeah move his, move his players there and then if it looks shit just bang it in Glorious. That is not right, no, Marzen. Indeed, MP, you've got to uh, you've got to knock on the front door before banging in the back door. <laughs> oh dear! Show sure, how good you are at screening to intimidate him. <laughs> Brilliant. And how are you, Kib? Oh dear me. Shawnee's pretty young, yeah, Shawnee's pretty young. He's probably about... If you're 11, he's probably like 14. Oh no, he's only 12. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, he just went to university recently, didn't he? There's no statistics, no. But there's a new command, look, which is ex exclamation point chalice. Oh, which is an EAB command as well. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, twat. God damn bezel. Alright, I'll make it playoffs. Fuck sake. Playoffs. There you go. So you can see. You can see what the playoffs are there. <laughs> you can see who's played their games, who's been diced out, who's shut the bed out, who's been killed by the draw, and also idiotic numbers that don't mean anything. <laughs> 
No apologies to Bezel, that was all of us really didn't have caught him. He's lovely. Bezel has done the most for, uh, for, it's done more for Blood Bowl than anyone else, hasn't he, probably? Oh, everyone is and if they're into some kingy things. Oh, well, we know Falfos isn't a cock and ball torture. He doesn't, no, he doesn't. Bezer is the greatest of all time. Bezer. Yeah, including cyanide, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> including cyanide. <laughs> oh, shit. Bezer. <laughs> you've you've said it on stream before, Fault Force. <laughs> That's how I know what it is. <laughs> oh dear me. Do the cam from the side. Oh god, he can't get back in front of the ball. This is very dodgy from Yak here. Oh, I did switch view instead of camera. Oh yeah, like like FIFA. If Blood Bowl 2 was FIFA. This is about all you can get. A bit of shit, isn't it? I'm like fumble. <laughs> when did those seagulls ever do? Yeah, he really, yeah, he really has ducky. Yeah, bezel is incredible. No. It's alright on Fumble. It's definitely better than a diagonal view, yeah. It would be good if you could just switch to it with one keystroke instead of having to manually do it with the uh, with the free camera. I think it would be good as a default one that you could just check. I really didn't like this from... Uh, oh, so he did do the GFI to try and shore it up and failed. Yeah, I, I like I like shoring it up, and I guess even his dead body shows it up a bit. Big Ben, it's not Big Ben anymore. Fault Force, it's Nakon now. Not knackered. If I uh, <laughs> if I had a <laughs> if I had bought it, it would be knackered. <laughs> I don't know if they got bought out. I just changed their name, but they're Nakon. Well, they bought the French company bought Big Ben, didn't they? Which didn't make any sense that it was Big Ben because, yeah, Big Ben got bought. I'm pretty sure because Big Ben didn't make any sense to be a French company called Big Ben, did it? So yeah, it's Nacon. I don't know if they, they could have just they could have just changed their name, but it's it's definitely Nacon. A lot of space up here, isn't there? Um, but his tackler is on his ass, so he's only likely to get a push. <laughs> yeah, that 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 makes fair. That makes sense. Help, yeah. <laughs> that makes complete sense. Brexit means Brexit. So Yak is going down here, doesn't get the power though. I guess he just doesn't he doesn't get much penetration now, but he still wants to swing around to that side. Yeah, they're not the best, are they, Cyanide? <laughs> Deadlines are more just like a <laughs> a suggestion to them. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe. That I guess that's who you Yanks think of when you hear Big Ben, don't you? Fucking Yanks. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe J5, yeah. I don't know if he was found guilty or not, does he? Even though everyone thinks... Even though pretty much everyone thinks he did it. I think he would, might have been cleared or something. Or settled out of court. I don't know what happened with it. But probably don't want to accuse him of it. On my stream, if he's been cleared or whatever. It's not been officially delayed yet, Marzum, no. <laughs> Burglar, isn't he? So, you know. Looks don't matter as much as money, do they? To a lot of ladies. <laughs> and fame. Not just money, fame as well, isn't it? Not just not just the millions and millions and millions of dollars. Also the fame. It's amazing. It's amazing how like how how like many like ugly sportsmen, like people say are handsome just because they're like rich and famous. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, coffee monster. Yeah, <laughs> a million dollars on Ben Roethlisberger's head full of nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Peyton isn't so bad, but yeah, Eli. Oof, god. <laughs> Poor old Eli. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Indeed, Mazum. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yes, they do. Oh, conservative sidestep there. You could have got frisky with the sidestep to here, couldn't you? But didn't. There's not likely to be much blood. There's no mighty blows. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give <laughs> Yeah, talk about blood bowl. What is there to talk about? Just two guys, some lads. I see what defend. happens. You know. Blood bowl's overrated, isn't it? Right. Constant hangover. Glorious. Or alternatively, constant fangover. Thank you very much. Six months in advance! Holy shit! That's incredible. Thank you very, very much. Absolutely glorious. Subbing for one and a half beaver pregnancies in advance. <laughs> Welcome to Team Fantastic. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Just Krell. Who's Just Krell? Is that Just Joe? <laughs> now he's Just Krell. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Too bad this is the only Blood Bowl you'll see in those six months. Now, nah, I'll, I'll do, I'll do, uh, I'll do, I'll do commentary on that as well as, uh, as well as maybe the occasional, as well as the occasional things. Nah, glorious, just crow. <laughs> All right. 
right, so Garion has got some... He's got a chance here, hasn't he? There was a double one there from Yak. To be fair, he ha he's not missing the reroll of the Apo yet, is he? Maybe he would have rerolled the, the GFI with the, uh, with the Blitzer earlier. He's now got the ball. So maybe you'd have rerolled that GFI earlier, get an extra reroll. But he's not really missed it yet. But I mean, this is a, a very easy assist, isn't it? Or recovery. So he's got a lot to go for the ball here. Yeah, it is, yes, it is a mirror of both pro elves. This guy can't get around a hit, surely not. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess he could, I guess he could double G if I had a hit with him. He's not going to, though. Being fair doesn't really matter because he's got sidestep to here anyway. So, like, obviously, many didn't have to cover this assist, but I think it was probably worth. <laughs> Putting the guy in there anyway. Like if he didn't have sidestep, obviously running around and blitzing from there was really good. But I would have considered coming in with this guy. He moved nine as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. GFI. I really like coming in with a tackle. TBH. Hello, Ansi. <laughs> I do not like sweet corn. It's just fucking pointless. It's like basically soggy cardboard. What the fuck's the point of it? It tastes of literally nothing. This is uh, bad here from from Gerion. I don't know if he's going to fix it in time, but this is looking pretty bad. Pretty bad. No, he doesn't fix it. He's left a gaping hole. How can you leave this gaping hole? He doesn't even need to blitz him. Like, you probably will blitz him. Because it cuts the corner off. No dodges allowed. No dodges required or anything, but... Fuck me, that's horrible, isn't it? That is a gaping hole. From, a, like, a quite... A kind of strong position. He's just put three players over there to punch a dude. And he's just let, let, let him through here. Do not like that from Garion. Do I not like that? I think you put this guy here and then blitz him and then move through. Um, I know that I've eaten soggy cardboard, but fucking sweet corn, the fuck's the point? Fuck's the point in the sweet corn? I don't, know, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe it's soggy plastic. It's just fucking nothing. It's just literally tasteless. Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> oh god. Yak just being crazy. <laughs> All right, he's put going there for the assist. I don't like that because he had more movement, didn't he? He was, he was stood up, wasn't he? Couldn't he have just like gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at the end? I don't like that. This guy can only go forward three anyway, so he might as well just go forward two. Get the assist in. Gets the Kaz as well. Like this guy can only move forward three. This guy could have gone anyway. Even if he stood up, he could have just gone up this way. One, two, three, four, five. I, I hate that. He's spent a play to give the assist. Whereas him going two up does the same thing, but actually gets him, you know, only one square less than he would have been otherwise. And now he blocks his path from moving people through. <laughs> now he now he blocks the most desirable square. Hands off to a non-dodge a non -dodge player for some reason. Yak is officially mental. What the fuck is he doing here? Like, genuinely, what the fuck is going on? 
I feel like art. He could have just been one square further back and, and had it been in a cage. They're not though, he literally just hit him without tackle. Help, you dimwit. <laughs> Garyon has one tackle player. <laughs> it's fucking nuts. This is crazy. This is... I've, I'm turning into art. I can't help it. Like, what the fuck is he doing? That was super weird. <laughs> it literally just wasn't help. And he could have done it with the plus movement tackler as well. He could have hit him with the tackler last turn and just didn't. <laughs> it doesn't grind my gears, but it's just literally better if he's one square back with a ball. It's just literally better. He could have been one square back, and this guy could have been over there, and it's just better. The fuck is this? And he's been, said he's put on a wrestler, but it doesn't have sidestep. It's fucking awful. Fucking awful. Oh, sweet corn is just shit. It doesn't grind my gears. He's on 13. Scoring him, fair enough, but you don't need a handoff on turn fucking 6 to score on him, do you? I hated the Edge 5 being back here. Because the Edge 5 could have just cut up there, it would have been much better. I pretty much hated the entire turn. <laughs> Blocking his path. <laughs> Making himself do some extra GFIs. Uh, not GFIs, dodges. Okay with dodge, but he still made himself do them. I don't know who he's going to blitz with yet. Help. Can I ban you even though you're a mod? There's only one way to find out. Oh, yep, I can, yeah. Hey <laughs> Joel just got me bothered with fucking idiots. <laughs> Nothing, it was just a laugh. <laughs> What's the team's name? With Cheetos, yeah. Oh wow, I wonder if Garyon is inspired by Elpmeme with his team name. Seeing as Elp is partnered with a Cheeto, isn't he? In JFW. <laughs> oh, oh, he is going to blitz with a tackle. <laughs> Note that he couldn't have blitzed him had he been in a cage. <laughs> that he isn't, for no fucking discernible reason. <laughs> Just Yak decided. Oh, Yak's a genius, that's why. Fuck me. That's why Yak did it. Of course. That's why he gave him the ball for no fucking reason. Jesus Christ. This is why I can't beat Space Cadet. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> it's difficult for Yak to stall now. Maybe he should have tried keeping the ball in a cage. And then he would have had all sorts of options. Then he could have maybe handed off to this guy and scored with him. Mm. Instead of this guy just getting knocked over and not being able to score with him. Nah, get another, get another tackle zone on the. Uh, oh, he's not a nerves of steel. Oh god, he had a lineman in front instead of a catcher. Jesus fucking Christ! What are you playing at, Yak? What are you playing at, mate? Fuck's sake, Yak! What are you fucking playing at? Well, he can, he can just score with this guy, can't he? I guess that's the obvious play. Just blitz him, sidestep to there, double GFI score. 
I mean, maybe you can run these guys down and, like, screen off over here somewhere. I mean, he probably won't screen seeing as... He appears to be allergic to screening. <laughs> Ooh, that was one of the weirdest moves I've ever seen. Well, now he's got some decently difficult dice rolls to make. I guess he just knocks him over with him. And then he two pluses out with a reroll. Okay. And I guess these two can both dodge out and he can make some kind of formation over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe he's pass it. Maybe he's pass it to the other blitzer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or hand off to the other blitzer, something like that. Like he can't do a three, two, through tackle. That's mental. So he's got to punch in, but he needs he needs two assists to do it, doesn't he? He'll cancel that assist first. Sweet corn, Paul. <laughs> Fuck off with your sweet corn. <laughs> I don't like doing these one in thirty sixes first because you know they could fail, and I'd rather have the ball in in scoring range. Not based by tackle, you know, some, somewhat, somewhat safe. You know, in, in some kind of position before I defend it, rather than making them also defend it first. C'est un super match jusque là. Le rythme s'est un peu ralenti, mais ça va reprendre de plus belle. Like if he double ones there, he's he's just probably lost, right? Because Garin takes the ball off him and maybe scores with this guy. What are you doing? Yak's taking ages, isn't he? It's not hard. <laughs> Just make some dodges and make your fucking 2D hits. Hello? Oh, he's been a bit greedy, so he wants to use this guy for something like that. I don't want to hit running him to there then and passing it to him. One, two, three, four, five, six. He could move him to here and then pass it to him. Or he could dodge him. Nah, he's got a double GFI. That's a fucking throw. Useless bastard. Oh, hurry up, Yak. Hurry the fuck up. But I, I would have had this, this splitter here. And then pass to the blitzer. Like that's perfect, isn't it? That's literally perfect. You just keep the blitzer End the there. Turn for fuck's sake! And then one, two, three, End four, the five, six, turn, and man. pass it to the blitzer who's like here. And then he could have run up and GFI'd, and then you've got it in a full cage. It's a bit like his only option now is to move this guy in and pass it to him. I think. I just run out of time. Oh no, they must have paused or something, or my replay is broken. They must have paused. I'm not going to say they've paused. Yeah, so maybe he wasn't taking that long. Maybe he was pausing because there was a there was a long break, wasn't there? In the turn, maybe he paused. Mm. 
I can't, I think you had to just have it. You've got to bludge it. Like, you've got to use your bludgers, haven't you? Um, Garion's lacking tackle. Lacking wrestle. Alright, here we go. Oh, God, what? Not even making the extra square there. And now the tackler's completely taken out of it. Well, it wasn't it a good move help to blitz with the tackler last turn? Wasn't that a great move, blitzing with that tackler? And that's why <laughs> Gerion shouldn't have blitzed with the tackler last turn, because he didn't have to blitz with the tackler. Because the carrier had wrestle and no dodge. If he'd kept the tackler back, ah, this looks a lot... Look a lot like it's not going to work, but never mind. Hello, Space Cadet. <laughs> yeah, there's only been one Kaz, I think. Yeah, one Kaz. Yak not punished for his lack of Apo yet. Yeah, so going for the quick... I mean, you know, maybe it's won it for Yak. That, maybe this wizard has won him the game. Because Garion went for that quick score, but has been pretty much out of ideas on defense. <laughs> maybe just hit the thrower. Hope you catch him. Gang foul the thrower. <laughs> Take out a Nudge 5. A Roger. A sure hands and his reroll all in one hit. Wouldn't even hit. Wouldn't even hit. Ces joueurs s'exposent à un turnover, quoi qu'il fasse. Oh, 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 petit bois. <laughs> oui, oui, oui. Alright, so he's going to run around and hit him without tackle and without wrestle. Really missing wrestle, isn't he, Garion? Garion's team is pretty shit for an elf off. Like, I could see Yak cutting to deny Garion a wizard. Because... A wizard looks to be the only way fucking Gary can get the ball off him. <laughs> Almost, doesn't it? Okay, he's got some edge five. But... So fucking what? He's mostly just like dodge and blodge. God, why, why didn't they both play more games, honestly? <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> Get fucking banged on. Holy shit. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? <laughs> He should be able to clear the sidestepper now, shouldn't he, with all these players? One, two, three, four, yeah. You can three dice him and, and clear him with a push. With a wrestler, so... Easy. He can three dice both of them. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it looks like he can three dice both of them. Yeah. Yeah, he can three dice both. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alan Shearer, Space Cadet. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that tickled me. 
Oh yeah, thank you very much Kiwi Nutsack Attack for staying fantastic for five whole months. Absolutely glorious. An <laughs> equity flip. <laughs> flip me, guys. At least it was a badly hurt. At least it was just a badly hurt. Oh, dear me. What a laugh. Hello, HTK. <laughs> It's not an official logo, no, it's from the OFL. I should really get rid of it. I should really get rid of it. So now it's looking pretty pretty desperate for Yak here. Should have sacked the thrower too. <laughs> um, it's looking pretty desperate now, isn't it? Oh, I've got it on open camera. I thought it looked a bit weird. Um, <laughs> indeed, J6. Indeed. This is looking really rough for Gary now, isn't it? And this wizard's looking a great move. This wizard is now looking like an absolute baller move. He hasn't needed to use... He hasn't needed re-rolls. He hasn't needed a re-roll yet. He hasn't needed an apple yet and that the existence of that uh wizard i'm sure played into garin's decision to score in three um yak you know didn't participate in his high scoring game and it's just going to 2-1 grind him unless uh Garian magics a wrestle player sub from somewhere if he can if he can just get a wrestle on one of his players um or an extra tackle or two uh, I don't think he can get wrestle or tackle mid game. So it's not looking good for him. He did sack both his rerolls. It is zero reroll space cadet. He, he has a leader. <laughs> he has a, he has a leader. It's literally zero rerolls plus leader. <laughs> Garyan, yeah, Garyan just needs to just needs to go to a phone box, go to the future Garyan who's taken wrestle and tackle, um, get the secret to that, then go back in time, pick wrestle and tackle, then come back to the present time. That's it. That's all he needs to do. Pretty easy, really. Yeah, to be fair, Mengels, yeah, he could be like, let me just pause. Let me just pause for a minute. <laughs> and then after he unpauses, he suddenly got three wrestle and two more tackle. <laughs> that would be incredible. <laughs> to be fair, it's going to happen in any game in the playoffs, it's this one. <laughs> that would be glorious. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it wouldn't even be breaking the rules because admins can do whatever the fuck they want. That's a rule. <laughs> that is a rule of Claddy. In, is is that well, it, he just didn't pick up the ball? Okay, this is a new low even for Yak. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so he doesn't get bothered, but what? I guess it's the... No, but Yak's the one with the wizard. What has he done? Yak's the one with the wizard. What is this? He hasn't picked up the ball. He just hasn't fucking bothered. Next level space cadet strats. <laughs> hey! He got him a reroll! <laughs> he got a reroll out of him. <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> he's, he's a genius, isn't he? 
Yak is just a fucking genius. And I doubted him. I doubted him. And he's just been proven to be an absolute genius. He knew the snakes were coming, so he didn't even pick up the ball. And then fucking Gary and used a reroll on it. <laughs> oh man. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Yes, <laughs> why not? Yeah, he gets the power. In. I don't know how. I don't know how Garyn's team. I guess it's it's more TV because the rerolls and the apple. But still, I would have just taken these as equal TV. You still like Yak? Still scummed? Ten or forty or something? So Garyn's team is pretty shit, isn't it? For an elf off, but even for a night elf off, it's not great. It would have beaten me, I guess, because he'd get a wizard. He'd get Elder than a wizard and win. Whee! He's picked up the ball! <laughs> Fucking mad lad. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, the egg, he did shift pretty massively with that double one. Three, six, seven players. He's just got to play properly for a turn, I think. These two stun guys. Try to get his players out of it. Oh yeah, the old kick would he? <laughs> He needed a knockdown there, didn't he? Hard to get the last guy out. Kick Eckert, he is dead. That was brilliant. I mean, no offence to Shawnee, but it was brilliant. <laughs> it was brilliant for that player to die at that point in time. It was pretty funny. I like just having a token threat there because Yak might just completely forget to move the ball. <laughs> He's already forgotten to pick it up once. I would have GFI'd to just to get him in scoring range. Because at the moment he's not even a threat really, is he? I wouldn't be surprised to see some fouls coming in from Yak now. Because... This is essentially, they're essentially out for the game now, aren't they, if they get removed? Yak's got to feel like he's in a pretty dominant position. Yak's, uh, Garion's got basically three good players left, which is the Edge 5, Leap Catcher, the Guard, Edge 5, Blitzer, and the Tackler. So, wouldn't even hit, so he's, he's already two men up. I wouldn't be surprised to see the fouls. Whether it's a good idea or not, I'm not so sure of. But I think I, w I definitely wouldn't be surprised to see them from Yak. Oh, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Stop being a mad bastard, Yak. Just go into a cage. <laughs> Play <it> properly. <laughs> Play <it> properly. <laughs> I mean, I don't think just being ahead is a reason to foul, but taking out the key players like the uh, the equity involved in the decision isn't it is just like you're risking a skillless dude for a edge 5 blodge leap that's a pretty good player to risk taking out <laughs> randomize the equity <laughs> yeah I don't think it's wrong I don't think it's wrong I'm not sure whether it should be done or not but I think Yak will just because he plays Underworld and that, he's more used to fouling than a lot of people, isn't he? So I think he'll have less less aversion to it than like somebody who plays Nurgle or whatever. Well, Nurgle's a bad example, Chaos. Where you wouldn't want to lose a Beastman or whatever. So there you go. So he doesn't even gets to do it with a loner. 
Um, it possibly exposes this, isn't it? This is a little bit weak now, this side. But he gets what he wanted anyway. That's him out for the rest of the match, probably. And now he's just going to try and hunt down this tackler, which is really the only threat left on the... Well, on, on Geraint's team here. London system, fuck's sake. Yeah, exactly, it's all so fun. But you know, like, I'm sure Yak's more of a fowler than most of us, just because... Just because of all the underworld. So... There you go. I mean, he could pass, couldn't he? He is a thrower, he could pass. To this catcher. Just lob it at the catcher and then fuck off over here. He could blitz him, maybe? He does le pass. <laughs> This is a sidestepper, dangerous play to blitz. Not a big fan of this. <laughs> D4 forever. Jesus. Do you know that uh, Eminem's band came about just because he was really bad at chess? <laughs> oh dear. And he could foul him, couldn't he? Like, he's not a very good player to foul, but he could just might as well. He just might as well. It looks like he's not going to, because he could have had him one square back. I feel like it's definitely worth just keeping everyone around him and just uh, sticking the boot in. Kind of no reason not to at this point. Is Yak going to bother protecting the ball this half? That's the biggest question. You can fix this with two simple moves. <laughs> Space Cadets hate him. <laughs> He's not fixing it. <laughs> not properly, at least. Jesus Christ. This is fucking weird, isn't it? He could have just caged. Why doesn't he want to cage? <laughs> I don't get it. Like, just cage? This edge five can just run all the way through the back. And then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI, and you can two D him. You can just instantly two D him with tackle. Like, okay, he's not going to, but he could have just 2 would him with tackle. Like, an eye cage when you don't have guard and your opponent has guard. An edge 5 guard who can just easily run through. It's just nonsense. Even I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, like it, it would be okay if he was the one with the guards. 
you know, if this was dwarves and he had guards on there, great. But he could still he could have still just had these characters one square over and make it like a cage, and this guy could have been one square over, and then it's a cage, isn't it? Then it's a fully impregnable cage. But instead, he's just given him the option to run around with Arch Five and get guarding if he wants. Which, okay, you could say that's like a bait or whatever, but I don't feel like giving somebody a much better chance than they deserve is, <laughs> is bait. He didn't, no. But, you know, maybe it was wrong to dodge the Edge 5 around. So maybe he was right to give him that chance. But still. It just seems crazy to me to, uh... <laughs> to do it. <laughs> it certainly seems that way. Now is he gonna cage? Uh, maybe not. I'm excited to see a cage at some point. Yeah, I knew he'd go there. Again, he could have r just run around here, right? And just hit him, and then put someone there and had a cage. He also needed the fucking pow here, by the way. He should have done that hit before moving the ball, shouldn't he? Because he moved this guy here. If he just got the push, then he needs to use the blitz on him, and then not tag him. So he's got away with one there. Yuck. Never trust a Sicilian. <laughs> yeah, hold well on. He's loving this. He's loving this nonsensical eye cage. <laughs> eye cage versus Edge Five Guard. You'd love to see it. Yeah, yeah, and he, even without the guard, it'd still just be a 1D. Which knocks him over 50% of the time, because he's got wrestle and he's got tackle. So, like... <sighs> oh, yeah, he's making the Y cage so he can spell out yak. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> this is a bit like a Q, isn't it? He's got the... <laughs> he made the Y cage last turn. Looks like he's making, trying to make a Q this turn, isn't he? If he moves this guy over there and then dodges someone to here, he's made a Q. Like, he's nearly, he's so close to making a Q. If he just put him there and someone there, he would have made the old Q cage. <laughs> As good doing it, yeah. <laughs> he's not just punching people. Just punch people, dude. Punch, punch, punch. This lad will too dice this lad. See what happens. I was aghast at Shawnee making a dodge instead of a block at one point, but I mean that was against Armour 9 Thick Skull guys. So <laughs> that movement four, so it kinda makes sense to maybe dodge around a bit there, but there's no excuse for not punching elves, is there? Punch elves. This lad will two dice this lad. Peak blood ball skills. Yeah, it's a fine record, especially as he plays a lot of Underworld, which are a bit shit. Of course, he does play Min Maxed Underworld. Min Max Corp on Underworld, but still. He's not terrible at blood ball. Neither's Garion. Apart from when he when he's fucking yellow fever. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he played so bad when he played. Every game that I saw him play as yellow fever, he was absolutely terrible. Yeah. Not the best game either of them have played, but I mean Garion's totally without skills, isn't he? Like 
Garyon would be a lot better against a non-elf team. If I was Garyon, I would have thought about just sacking somebody. This fucking Leap Patch 5 dude. <laughs> just fucking sack him. And sack his rerolls and his apple and get a wizard. <laughs> like he kinda needs the wizard to do anything. If if Yat plays with any semblance of safety. This is pretty wild. This is only about the third or fourth game I've casted in this season's cup, and I'm, I'm already turning into Artemis. <laughs> Acting like they're both the worst players I've ever seen. But it's not been great from either one. And with Gerion, it's more his team, I think. Like, Gerion's team is just not equipped for this game, is it? He's got one tackle and no wrestle. Yak's the one with the wizard. <laughs> Splash God Flex. He's the one with the wizard. <laughs> He's the one that thought it was right to ruin his team to get a wizard. Which is just weird because to looking at the team, is Gary would be the one to ruin his team to get a wizard? Because how the fuck is he going to knock over a bludger with his team? <laughs> And all right, that's why I thought he didn't pick it up. I thought, oh, well, he didn't pick it up because this is like mad 3D chess so that he won't get bolted. But I was totally wrong. He just completely forgot the ball. <laughs> Yak's the one with the wizard. <laughs> and a four-man advantage. Oh, dear. I mean, now he can't go wrong because he had so many players. Three. He just literally forgot to pick up the ball on turn on turn nine. Yeah, he just he just didn't move his thrower. <laughs> he just left the ball in the end zone. <laughs> turn one, <laughs> and then the next dice was snakes <laughs> into into an eventual removal, wasn't it? Into an eventual foul that removed him. Yeah. I mean, it probably wouldn't be that much worse if he was playing like a bash team or whatever, wasn't it? Like, that's the thing. Like, one tackle is light for elves, because elves are all about the ball, so... One tackle it is light for elves against anybody. But if he was up against a bash team, the one tackle wouldn't be as bad, would it? Yeah, he still hasn't needed to use a reroll. Or an apple yet. <laughs> Yak looking like an absolute genius right now. He also didn't need to defend the ball whatsoever. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, see, so Sabs Amico was in Juice and Apple as well, couldn't he? Uh, if he's down TV. So, there's going to be some big hits on this sidestepper now, and he can foul him as well, potentially. I'll oh, just stand up your tackler. <laughs> stand up your tackler, you dickhead. Because <laughs> now, now he's got to move his loner first, who we wanted to foul with. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Space Cadet, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't surf him sidestep. But I would have definitely fouled him. 
I would definitely try to foul him now by moving that guy in instead of just standing this guy up. I guess he wants to blitz him, which is fair enough. I think that is fair, to be fair. One, two, three, four, five, six. You move him around there, can't you? Blitz him with tackle. Then bears him through and then just foul him with a decent player. This guy, maybe. Thrower, the edge five thrower. Aubrey's leader. Okay, he's not blitzing him. Well, in that case, he should have definitely stood him up, shouldn't he? Instant removal. That could have been the tackler removed just quietly. This line all could have run through and fouled him at the end. Is he not moving forward? I don't like not getting past that. Like, I would have really liked to have gotten past this guy and fouled him. I guess he's had five though, so who cares? It's not a dicing at all, no, Philly. I don't think it's been a dicing. Like, I guess he's made a lot of removals. So in that respect, it has been. But it's not like Gary and ever had a chance. <laughs> so that's why I wouldn't call it a dicing. Yeah, but he hasn't got anyone to knock people over, has he? Ah, he's failed some things. He's failed the GFI, didn't he, in the first half? He's got skill rerolls for most things he's doing. Yak, uh, Yak failed a dodge that exposed the ball, didn't he? On his, uh, on his first offensive drive. I mean, the removals have obviously heavily favoured Yak. I mean, it's definitely not mega comedy dicing. No way is it mega comedy dicing. Like, no way is it mega comedy dicing. It's a very... There's a lot of variance on the removals when they're both armor 7 and either side's got mighty blow. But crucially, Garion doesn't have tackle. And has less block. And no wrestle. Okay, maybe he doesn't have less block. <laughs> He's got less, you know, defensive hitting skills. I know what I meant. <laughs> I mean, he, you know, don't get me wrong. He hasn't had much luck, Gary. But I don't really I wouldn't call it dicing just because it's like what I expected to happen has happened. <laughs> nice plus movement. Plus movement space. Isn't he? Plus arch. He's plus arch. He's movement 8. He was in range. He was just in range. He was just in range. So you were just wrong. He did have a stat though. <laughs> ah, right. Plus arch. So I mean, it was really. It was pretty much impossible to stop him anyway, wasn't he? He was arch 5 leap. There was pretty much no way of stopping him. Even if he had the, the sidesteppers in front, he could have just dodged past him anyway. Yak's got him on the LOS instead of the loner at the moment. You've got to love that. Surely he's going to change that. Oh, maybe he's not because sidesteps for the one turn. Oh, yeah, sidestep for the one turn. He's going to leave him on the LOS, isn't he? Fuck me. What's this about? Is this in case he gets a blitz? A riot. Huh. 
perp derp, base, base, base. Don't know why, quick snap is one of the biggest ways he gets fucked, and this this helps the quick snap, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't feel like that helps much against a riot. Like, the biggest chance for Garion here is quick snap, isn't it? So he can surround a sidestepper, block him, get him forward two squares with one block, and then he can blitz his way through for the score. So. He's just made it kind of easier to get the uh, assist on for the blitz through. Well, Karen got an extra reroll. He's going to need it as well. Just pass it first. Probably. Did he have to blitz there? What's he doing? This guy's here. Oh, no. I mean, it's fucked, isn't it? Oh, well, GG. I think he had a blitz, didn't he, there? I think he had a blitz. Oh, no, he's got a blitz here. No, he's got a block. Oh, yeah, so he's got a block here. He couldn't do it then, could he? But he isn't sidestep. So he's in the wrong square anyway. He had to be here. He needed like three more players or something. Hello, Flicky. I don't think there was any way he could have done it. He, he had to get this guy on the LOS. He had to get this guy involved in it. And uh, not hit that guy. He just had to ignore him. And like dodge around to fill in squares. He might have been able to do it. He might have been able to do it, but not the way he tried to do it. Probably needed sidestep to have done it. Or a quick snap. <laughs> Pass it to him. Oh dear. Well, let that be a warning to people who qualify with shit teams, I guess. Um, that was a bit of a damn squib from Gary, and he just didn't have the tools to, to do anything, did he, really? Um... And I'm really so. I mean, I'm more surprised than ever that Yak crippled his team for that. But there you go, Yak crippled his team, and now he's uh, <laughs> he's won the game. So <laughs> he'll probably be getting a lot of inducements. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe the Wiz won the game, right? Maybe the win. Maybe the Wizard won the game because you know, without the Wizard, maybe Gary installs out till turn eight. Um. I'm sure the wizard of I'm sure the the wizard the presence of the wizard um factored into Garion's decision to score early. So yeah. Well done Yap. Commiserations Garion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.